is calling us to step up as the church. The church as an institution should not get involved in government. But the people, the believers in the church, they must be prepared to play their role. And that's how we're going to bring this righteousness back in this nation. And this is what Hashtag Hope is all about. We are committed to a righteous government. We are committed to a righteous government. What does the righteous government mean? Doing things right. Doing things according to the Bible. The Bible is guiding us. We know how to deal with crime because the Bible guides us. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says you must teach your children, bring them up in the discipline. And it says sometimes you must use a rot because it must come back. The reason why we have used that is ill discipline is because there are laws that has taken the authority away from the hands of the parents. Now our children belongs to the government. It's communism, man. It's communism. Because the heart and the plan of God, everything starts in the family. Any nation that does not have the foundation of family in place, you see that nation, it falls. Because the foundation of every successful nation is its family. And that's what the enemy has gone after. And we say, if a child knows there are consequences when he does something, that daddy will take him, will put him in a place. My teachers were spanking me. And that's why I can even speak this English today. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need to bring it back. If criminals know that the punishment will be heavy on them, they will not even think twice. You see, today they do it because they even want to get in there. Because it's nice in there. There's everything there. While we are suffering outside, they are having party there. They've got all the TVs and everything. But listen, when we come in, righteousness means also justice. We must be hard on criminals. We cannot afford to have our women and children live in fear and our farmers on the farms live in fear because there are people who believe they've got a right to kill. That's why we even advocate that the capital punishment must come back. It's going to be there in our policies. Yes, it will be monitored. We will have to make sure that it is applied to the right people. But once the people know that you're going to die if you kill somebody, they will think again. Why are they using it in other nations? And you never hear people, you never hear the, 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 the newspaper say somebody has been hanged. It's happening in China. It's happening everywhere. But when we come in South Africa, when we come in Africa, we say, no, it must not happen. How will you discourage criminal? If you do that, you will not. Look what's happening now. The president stands there and he says, he's so proud that they have been able to give millions of people 350. And he's expecting people to clap hands for him. And he's even saying they're going to double it three times. So meaning that a young man who gets out of the school will not have to work in his life because he will, get, he will be receiving 2,000 something. You are killing the nation. For what? For staying in power? So that you can continue to, to do corruption? We cannot afford to stand by and fold our arms. And say, let's pray for them because the Bible says we must pray for our leaders. I say, yes, the Bible says we must pray for the leaders. But what did God say to Samuel when he kept on praying for, for Saul? What did God say to him? 
He said, stop praying for him because my hand is not on him anymore. Go and anoint David. We cannot be manipulated. We cannot be told by people who don't even believe in the Bible and tell us how we must read the Bible, how we must understand the Bible. We know we are not fools. Christians are not fools. I tell you, we've got very highly capable people in hope. I think probably it's only me and Royers who only preach too much. <laughs> the rest of them, like Pastor Ziki, is a very successful uh, businessman. He's not just a pastor, a very successful businessman. We have professors, we have doctors, we have advocates, we have people who know how to run this country. But we need strong leaders who know where the, where the country must go. So I want to stand here and I want to invite you. Be part of a miracle that God is shaping in this nation. God is shaping a miracle in this country. Be part of it. Don't continue to vote unrighteously. Put your cross where the cross is. Did you get it? Okay, you want me to show them. Put your cross where the cross is. The cross is already there. The cross is Jesus. And we put our cross there. And we, we, we are not looking for politicians. We're looking for servants. People who will, who will put themselves to be accountable. As I'm standing here, I'm accountable to these brothers. They can ask me anything. They can visit my house anytime to see if I'm chasing my wife and, and Exlan may, may throw. They are welcome. They are welcome to ask me about my finances. That's, that's the kind of leadership we need in South Africa. Don't be afraid for your life to be vulnerable. What do you have to hide? If you are a true servant, a true servant has got nothing to hide. Because they don't have agenda. The only agenda is to serve the master. So, Royas, I can say, Pastor, I can say, I can say, but I feel I need to stop here and maybe we need to pray to pray for South Africa, but also to pray for hope. I didn't want to talk politics with you. I'm sorry if maybe I didn't go into details. I wanted you to hear our hearts. We have policies, and if you have questions, how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with that? You are welcome. We're going to take all the, um, the database, and we'll put other people in the groups, and you can ask the question. You can ask anything, and we can, we can give you answers. But I didn't want to stand here as a politician and give you a, po a political speech because I know your heart is to see change, not words. You're looking for change. Amen. Praise the Lord. Constante hoog bloedsuikervlakke is die hoofoorzaak van type 2 diabetes, insulineweerstandigheid en oorgewig. Een laag GE dieet kan help om bloedsuikervlakke te beheer, eetlust te demp en diabetes komplikaties te voorkom. Mana bloedsuikerbeheertablette help om die GE van die voedsel wat jy eet met soveel as 43% te verlaag en daarom help het om bloedsuikervlakke te beheer. Die product kan saam met enige dieet gebruik word en is beskikbaar by alle apteke. Besoek manaplus.co.za vir meer informatie. Ik was in die politie, een jong policeman. Als ik hier die story vertel, is het in die politie zijn schuld geweest. Dat is ik, dat is ik. En ik rijd die dag, en ik wil een beetje ras praat. Ik wil een ras praat, als ik dit praat. Staan een jong zwart man, zo so 10 meter van mij af, met de panga. Ons rijdt patrolie. 
en hy speel met sy panga, soos ek en jy, beltong met die mes sal snu, as die man het met sy traditionele, hy wil niemand doodmaak op die dag, of iets doen, en my achterkop, bietje haat, vir die wereld, kwaad, want ek het hier pa nie, jy weet baie keer, het jy in die huis seer gekry, en jy gehaal dit op ander mense uit, I must tell you today, I think I know now who's my dad. He's a little bit in a problem, but he will become again the president of America, I think so. <laughs> it is Donald Trump. He looked like me, ne? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but listen. But I, yeah, <laughs> don't go there. Okay. Maar weet jylle wat, ek kyk hier die swart man, en omdat ek aan rejection, verwerping geleid het, klim ek uit. Die man het niks aan my gemaakt. En ek trek my bestoel uit. Ek is in hierdie system van ons government toe. In hierdie system. En ek stap na hom toe, tien tref van haaf en ek skiet hom. Ander as my son make a film of it, I, but, ek wil net vanavond vir jou sê, jy haat miskien nie man. Iets het jou seer gemaakt. Iemand het jou gemolesteer. God wil heel maak van hom. Jy moet nie met die bagasie meer loop nie. Ek skiet om my val. Is nie dood nie. Hulle laai hom op in die ambulans. Ek rai police station toe. While I was waiting at the police station, his mom come in. She was not a drinker. She was a very good black woman. I know her. En sy kom in en, when she saw me, she fight, and fell down. Want hier staan die man wat haar kind geskiet het. The captain asked me, who is this woman? And you see sin, labor, other sin. It maak nog meer sonde. I it's a drunk woman. I know, it is his mom. But you see, nou moet ek dooddruk. Ek moet dooddruk wat ek gedoen het. The captain sê, lock her up for five hours, because she's drunk. Hy vrou het nog nooit gedrink. That black woman, she must hate me. I shoot her a child, a son, was 20 years old. I lock her up, she must hate me. That night, I go to the hospital. I visit him because I go with a girlfriend. I must show off. He asked me, it was my name that time, Red Major. He said, Roy Major, give me a bit of water. I must tell him for the girl, I am a bit brave. I said to him, I don't want to have water. And I go out. That man died. That morning, they contact me while I was working. Said that man died. Ek rai na die maat toe. Dit is totaal onethies. They must send somebody, a, a chaplain or a pastor or somebody. They send the murderer. I go there. I want to tell you my heart was dirty. I cannot, because I'm in politics now, I must have new stories. No. My story is dirty. It was dirty. But the blood of Jesus, he was me clean. But okay, I come, I climb near out. I roop her out the car out. Oma, come here. I see that now. No. I saw it in front of me. She comes, she said, she makes like this. Hello, hello. And I laugh. Man, I don't want to tell the story. But I do it tonight. That that dirty in your heart must come out tonight. Racism must come out. I laugh. And I said, your sin is dood. And I reverse. Because there was another policeman. So I laugh. And I go. 16 years pass. I go to Angola, Namibia, I drink, I was a drunkard, I was in the police, and then, one day, I think 16 years, one day, 
I come back. After I was born again. I go in Uppington. Papalelo. And there was 3,000 people and I preach. And a young black girl come up. She said, I don't like that name. Please don't name me that name. She said, remember you are? I want to tell you something. On Oma, that mom is our Oma. That man I kill, the, she said, on op her sterfbed, on her day that she died, she turned to her. The last minute, God spare that that black woman can set me free, that I can, the white man, that God can save me. And she turned to her and said, as you wait for Roy Mejorsi, if you see Roy Mejor again, tell him, Oma, forgive him. Every year on his birthday, she must think, where is that man who killed my son? She must hate me. I lock her up. She set me free. I ask you tonight, 1 John 1 verse 9 says, if you confess your sin, God is willing to do that. Wil jy nie vanavond jou sonde beleid nie? Luister, kom ons doen een gebed. Eers, allemaal saam. Sê, Vader, hou net so'n bykie, daar by die huis, please pray with us. Pray with us. Give your heart to Jesus tonight. Kom ons bid saam hart op. Sê, Heere, Ek gee my leven vir jy. Ek vraag vergifnis. Ek spreek vry. En ek vraag ook dat ander my vry spreek. Red asjeblief my siel. Vul my met die heilige gees. In Jesus naam. Dankie Heer. Dankie. Vader, ek kom bid nou oor elkeen, dat hulle honger na die woord sal kry, dat hulle begin een bybel lees soos nooit tevore nie. Vader, we want to take bible values to parliament, but we cannot take it to parliament before we take it in our house. We must first take it in our life, we must take it in our schools, in our homes, and then we can take it to parliament. That is why I ask you tonight, Lord, please come and touch us, now under the Holy Spirit. Heere my God, dat ons sal begin een bybel lees, dat ons sal worship, dat ons iets sal soek, soos nog nooit nie, in Jesus naam. Hier gaan nou een groe ding gebeur. It is a manifestation for South Africa. Jakko, kom met die tende. Jakko, kom to me now. He said, please, after that story you told now, I want to forgive black people. He said, I hate them. Because they kill his father when he was... I do so, yeah. with AK-47s. In 1992. I want to tell you one thing, yeah. Yaku. Amen. It is black people. Amen. But it is not all the black people. But I want to bring him yes. in and you. Yes. And I ask him, can you pray for him? Come on. Are you willing? Because they will be healing tonight. Amen. But Amen. this we do for South Africa. Amen. Yaku, Standing for I like that you come forward. Amen. Thank you that you come. Um, Say with me before he pray for you. Said Lord, Lord, I forgive, I forgive all the black people, all the black people and that black people, and that black people who yes. kill my father. Yes, my father. Jesus. in Jesus' name. Yes, please heal me, Lord. Thank you for your healing. In Jesus' name, John, please pray for you. Thank you for the forgiveness, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Father, as I pray for this man, this tonight. I celebrate your forgiveness. Yes, Lord. For a man to say, I forgive you for the wrong that you have caused, the pain you have caused for my family. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that forgiveness. Thank you. How many years has taken this young man these strong men yes. to live with this pain in his heart. Mm. Yes, Father. But tonight, oh, let that healing come, Lord. You are setting us both free, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let that healing come, my God. No captives. We are free in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. 
And Lord, I stand here as that black man who took that AK-47, Lord. I am that man who killed his father. And I say, Yako, thank you for forgiving me thank you, Lord. Oh. for what I've done, my brother. Yes. That I've taken your dad away from you. Good thank God. you for forgiving me. Thank you for forgiving my people for the pain you hold in your heart for us. Yeah. Thank you, Yako. May you be strong. Uh, yes, Lord. May, be, may you be a father to your children. Mm. May they know nothing but love yes, Lord. that comes from their dead. Yes, Jesus. And your story is a story of many South Africans. Yeah. It's the story of hope, yes, Jesus. of healing. Yes, Lord. Father, I thank you for this man and for this brother of mine. Yes, Lord, let your healing come. I thank you for your healing, Lord. Let your healing come. Heal his I thank you for your healing, God. Heal, my God. Heal. Father, forgive us as black people for killing even those farmers, Lord. As he stand here, he stands for the farmers mm, yes. that are murdered on their farms, oh God, yes, yes. in front of their children, mm. in front of their wives. Mm. Father, forgive us. Forgive our people, oh God. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes. Forgive us, Father. Set us all free from this pain and from this hate, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Even as we forgive our white brothers, Lord, yes. for all the evils, mm. all the murders, Father, I stand here as a black man and I say, I forgive you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes. yes. You are forgiven. Yes, Lord. You are no longer a prisoner. Yes, Jesus. Of our hate as black people. We choose to release you. Yes. You are my brother. Amen. I need you. Amen. We must build this yes. nation together. Oh, yes. I need your gift. Mm, yes, Jesus. I need your knowledge. Yes, Lord. Amen. I need your heart. Yes, Father. And together let's build. Yes, Lord. Let's not look back. Mm. Yaku, we are standing here representing our people. Yes, and may the Lord bless you, my brother. Yes, In Jesus' name. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People, this is big things. That is groot dinge. Net God kan laat ons mense mekaar vergewe. Jylle weet allemaal in, vanavond in sitkamers. Daar is haat. Daar is kwaadheid. Ja. En net die Heere kan dit doen. School of Fire Bible Studies. As jy vandag een sendling wil word, of jy wil een pastoor word, maar jy moet by jou huis wees, kan jy oor die post studeer. Gaan op YouTube, tik in School of Fire Bible Studies, en jy gaan na ons playlist toe, en daar sal instructies wees, wat jy nodig het om te volg, om een pastoor of een sendling te kan wees. Vir meer inlichting, contact vir Ansori Baardenhoos, of stuur vir ons e-post vandag, Jesus like you.